The much-anticipated 2014 Forester is here at University Subaru. Newly redesigned, inside and out, with sleek styling, symmetrical all-wheel drive, and maximum performance, plus now 32 miles per gallon. Join us for the Subaru Love Spring Event, going on now, and see the all-new Forester. All-wheel, all-weather, all-wow. Available in mid-Missouri, only at University Subaru. The wise choice. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Wednesday, it's April the 3rd, and I've got my good old friend with me. <laughs> you knew I was going to say old friend. <laughs> We're the same uh, age, Kathy Salter. We've been friends for a long time. Yes, and I'm, for I'm as so long good. as both of us have been born. Yeah. On the same day almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kathy Salter, and you're here. Uh, yesterday we had um, we had Chris Stevens on. We, we refer to him as a minister of culture yes. in <laughs> Columbia. Well, we we're talking that that you were coming on today, and this is more culture. Yes, there we I'm a cultural. Yeah, the, you're a. What's guru the word? Of What's the word? Also. But actually, volunteer. <laughs> you and your husband are some of the nicest people that I have ever been blessed to know. Oh, well, it's, it which is it's true. Absolutely. But you're beautiful. here to uh, to talk about the Saturday morning book club. What is that? Well, I, Ken and I have been volunteers for a long time at the Boone County Museum and Galleries, that, which is home to the Boone County Historical Society. And uh, our good friend, the director and curator, Jennifer Flink, uh, about a, a, well, last summer said casually, gee, we ought to do something on Saturday mornings, maybe have... a little book talk. Yeah, and that, that kind of turned so, on the light bulb, didn't it? that, looking at me, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, w there are two people who have just got published beautiful books. One was Ed Ayler, who you spoke to not too long ago, who mm -hmm. had just published Blue Highways Revisited, a photographic um, redoing of the journey of William Least Heat Moon in, in, that took place in 18, 1982. And um, so we started with one on a Saturday morning, and it was come at 9.30, have some coffee, 10 o'clock book talk. We have now had nine of these. Once a month, either the first or second Saturday of the month, we now have a wonderful young woman who comes, gets up at 4.30 in the morning, bakes to die for pastries and focaccia bread that morning and arrives at, before the guests come, at 9.30 you have coffee, you have beautiful pastries, chat with other writers, book club mm -hmm. goers, editors, authors who are now coming out to mm -hmm. us and saying, I want to do a book talk, please. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have a wealth of people in this community who are published authors. We, it, it's a little bit like the beginning of the True False Film Festival. Right, we right. are the book talk analogy yeah. to that. We are getting 60 people on these Saturday mornings, and Dari Heinemann comes, hasn't missed but one of them, I think. Uh, people get up when they've got 100 other options on a Saturday morning, and uh, it, it has just become wonderful. Have you seen it grow each oh. week, from uh, each month, from when you well, started? Well, when we started it, we had no idea. I mean, I didn't have all the authors signed up. I now have authors signed up for the rest of this year and for three months of next year. Wow. Yes. I'd say it was a yes, success. Yes. And this coming Saturday, Saturday, April the 6th, uh, we have an author whose roots are quite deep here in the community. He published what has been an international bestseller and never out of print for the last 30 years, Blue Highways. Mm -hmm. William Lee's Teat Moon, known locally as William Trogdon. And Will published this incredible book that just has a following all over the world. Ken and I were living at, in LA when it came out in 1982 never imagining that someday we would live in Columbia, Missouri. You hadn't lived in, in the Just a few hollers mm -hmm. away from William Least Heat Moon. Mm -hmm. And Kit is a geographer, a cultural geographer. He read Blue Highways. He bought nine copies of it 
we were living on teacher salaries. He bought nine hardback copies of it and gave them to each of his graduate students and said, this is the way a geographer should write. Mm. This is beautiful. He said, he may not know he's a geographer, but this is beautiful. So fast forward, uh, we move here and learn that William Lee Steep Moon lives a few hollers away. Mm -hmm. And so we've been friends now uh, for 20 years. And Will has in the, in the meantime written Prairie Earth, which is a, what he calls a deep map of one county in Kansas. Uh, Roads to Quaz, which is another travel, uh, like uh, Blue Highways, another trip to parts of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, and he wrote a book called River Horse about his 1995 journey from New York Harbor to the Pacific. Now, will he be covering all of these books? He will be Saturday talking morning? about writing, his writing, his travel writing. He will be talking about the fact that Blue Highways Revisited, uh, which has, by the way, Ed Ayler's photograph of the Burr Oak in McBain on the cover, mm -hmm. which is where at least the journey began, right, uh, right here in Boone County. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary reissue of this classic, uh, and it's very exciting that it's been reissued. Uh, and, and it's it, never been out of it's never, never been, been out, out of print. print. And he also has a brand new book which is a collection of write, travel writings over his career as a writer and called, this one is called Here, There, Elsewhere, Stories okay. from the Road. Okay, so he will be covering all of these books and answering any questions mm -hmm. that anybody can throw at him. Yes. It will be this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Starting at what time? If you arrive at 9.30, you will already be late because all of these people who have been coming <laughs> know that the pastry woman comes. Okay. Julie so you come early Sexton for the pastry. of the Flower Girls Bake Shop arrives about, oh, about 8.30. And people are now coming 15 minutes earlier. So, you know, come about 9.15. Okay. Have a lovely pastry, coffee. We have cafe tables where you can sit and chat with other writers and authors. We've well, just got it all set up. Just <gasps> very exciting. Don't you? Okay. <laughs> That'll be this coming Saturday at the uh, Walters Historical Museum, Boone mm -hmm. County Historical Museum, uh, right on 63. Right across from Lenore yeah. on Highway 63 okay. near and the Maplewood Theater. If people want more information, a website they can go to? Oh, uh, the... Google it. Google yes, it. Okay. I I'm, don't have well, that right in front of me. Or you can call the Boone County Historical Museum. Exactly. Here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Kathy Salter, thank you so much for Almost coming prepared. by. Almost <laughs> prepared. Thank you for coming by, my good friend. Tomorrow. Kathy Barton, Dave Perra will be on to talk about the Big Muddy Folk Festival. Our program, directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute Audio, Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director, Elizabeth Hyden, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Uh, you can watch this program again or listen to it. Go to kbia.org. Bye-bye.